In the shadows of the lower city streets, a darkness grows. It begins with a scream. Murder. <laughs> Greetings, detective. With your keen eye for detail and sharp analytical mind, you possess the essential skills needed to unravel this heinous killing before the murderer strikes again. Will you become the hero this city needs or the next lamb brought to slaughter? Plumb the depths of the lower city for clues. Interrogate witnesses and questionable locals and find the murderer before time runs out. Good luck, detective. And may the streets of Baldur's Gate reveal their secrets to you before it's too late. <laughs> Alright, so right behind me, you can't really see it uh, unless I do this. There is 18 hours, 57 minutes, and 32 seconds. I wanted to say 32, not 33. Um, but that is the amount of time that the entire community has to vote on something of like this. So it is a like criminal investigation that takes place in Boulder's Gate, the city. So, I don't know, can we read the first thing we had, which was the Sailor's Crossing, right? Yeah. Yes, here. I think you can, yeah. So this is, uh, we stumble upon, it looks to be a bard by the image right here. Because there is a broken loot here. And he's got a fucking war pick sticking out of his chest by a fountain. I do believe this is a murder. <laughs> so, I mean, you read about it here, um... It's, it's literally as if you were playing D and D and you did an investigation role in a murder. Um, do I have to read this? Do, do you think I should read this? Cookies are done. You may begin now. LOL. Hi, Lumi. <laughs> I'm glad I have your permission to begin. Um, yeah, you should definitely read it like you're a DM, but I'm not a DM. Anyway, oh, do you want me to read it? Do you want me to read it? No, I just got to sit a little closer and don't you say a fucking word. <laughs> I'll kick your ass. <laughs> I'll kick your ass. Okay, so the saltwater scent of the harbor cannot mask the overwhelming smell of blood in the air. In the middle of the cobblestone plaza by the pier, uh, what is that word? A tiered fountain. <laughs> Small. <laughs> A tiered fountain. Sprays a fine mist into the air. At the base is a finely dressed elf impaled on an anchor. That's an anchor, not a not a pick. It's a fucking anchor. Okay, that makes it even better. I didn't read this yesterday. Zayden did. Um, <laughs> blood pulls around the body. Over the sound of lapping waves, someone can be heard retching nearby. Do it, do it, Zayden. Give me the sound effects. The, the retching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. You're like... In the lapping waves. Yeah, in the lapping waves. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so the victim. On closer inspection, the anchor has been driven through the elf's torso. Whoever committed this atrocity did so with a brutal... With brutal force. Really... <laughs> they were they were playing no game <laughs> that's funny uh where was i uh fresh blood continues to seep from the large wound soaking through a silk tunic and onto an elven engraved coin pouch still attached to the leather belt a loot lies within the grasp of the young victim never to play a tune from its owner again Mm. So, do you remember how? Wait, 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 there's more. I, I okay. just gotta take a breath. The fountain, a pristine, oh, <laughs> pristine water flows down freely. A few copper pieces, because that looks like an L from here. Shut up, Zayden. Have been thrown into the bottom by wishmakers, but nothing out of the ordinary. Cobblestone. 
All right, so the cobblestone, the streets, blood collects around the cobblestone like a network of crimson veins. A faint boot print points <laughs> that's toward the direction of of Fisher's Wharf. Okay, so that's just the name of it, Fisher's Wharf. And the retching sounds on the street corner at Admiral's Way. A man props himself with one hand against a building wall. Okay, so this this is kind of like off topic from this thing, but the Admiral's Way, I have a very good feeling that we're going to see that in Boulder Skate 3. Just, and it plays an important role. But anyway, um, so we had options yesterday to either go to the fishing wharf or go see the guy, I guess, retching on the corner, right? So we voted. The whole community voted. And what did they pick? Did they pick Fisher's Wharf? I think they did, right? Yes. Yes. So now, this is all new. But first, we have an item. We have Potion of Invisibility. Cool. Notifications. New item unlocked. Got it. New location unlocked. Fisher's Wharf. Okay, got it. New poll. Vote for the... Explore Admiral's Way or Canary Lane, Harborside Hospital, or the Blushing Mermaid. That's another thing we're going to see in Boulder's Gate 3 is the Blushing Mermaid. Very important place. Um, okay. I wonder if they're, like, making this game. I just thought about this. I wonder if they're, like, doing this so that you get an, a general idea of the layout of the city. So that when you play the game, you have an idea. Not gonna, not gonna lie. If that's the case, it's probably one of the best fucking ideas ever done. Dude, it is Larian like, Studios, to be fair. Oh, I know, but like to make a mini game out of right before um, the huge full release of Boulder's Gate, just mm -hmm. so you like you know where things are, is right. actually a really big, big brain move. Yeah. You know, hashtag wish AAA games would do that, but you can have that. All right, Fisher's Wharf. All right, so here's the new location. Fishing vessels you want, head out from you the pier during the day, leaving behind an old houseboat. Summer. So this is still the same day, right? Right? No, it's the day after. What we? It took us a two days. It it took us two days to get over here. Really? Yeah, that's what it says. Summer yeah, 21. Yeah, 21. Yeah. Yeah. An oddly decorated boat creaks as it sways on the gentle tide, tethered to the near empty pier. Over the entrance to the interior is a canvas arch where a collection of herbs and other sundries hang out to dry. Is it herbs or herbs? How do you say it? How do I say it? Mm -hmm. It's herbs. Okay, me too. <laughs> Shuffling out to the bow is Drusilla, the eccentric alchemist who once hired you to track down a missing talisman. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there you go. Now you can read that part. Which part am I reading? The, the Drusilla's part where she's speaking. Uh, which part? That one? Okay, thank you. Who's, who's Drusilla, the centric alchemist once, who once hired you to track down a missing... Are they a boy or are they a girl? You don't know. I don't know. So I guess we're just With gonna... a name like Drusilla, usually with a uh at the end of their name, it's a female. Female. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Suppose you hear about the table deed what just happened, she says before clucking, clicking her tongue. Come then, hop aboard. Tea's already on. <laughs> so you go into the living quarters, huh? Vials of strange fluids bubble bubble on the shelves that are stacked with books and brick brick a brack? What the fuck? Brick a brack? Brick a brack! <laughs> a steaming kettle sits atop a burning wood stove nearby a small square table with an urn placed at one of four stools. An urn, that's weird. There you go. <clears throat> Knowing what I knows about these things, the flame fist will be soon 
will be back soon enough to clear our lookers off and cart the body over to the morgue at Harborside Hospital. Best give yourself a rest while you wait. <laughs> Le a leprechaun voice is what you hear in your head it's kind of what I'm hearing <laughs> through the mic <laughs> I love it um, the cameo of a woman engraved in white hard stone is set against a terracotta urn on a on a prior visit you learn the vessel contained the remains of Drusella's deceased sister that's hard to say Drusella, <laughs> Drusella's deceased sister <laughs> it's, it's like a lot of Sorry. Sorry if there's a lot of S noises going on on the mic there. While humming an old tune, the alchemist sets a third cup of tea in front of the urn and says, With honeycomb as you like it, Kate. Okay, so her dead sister's name is Kate. Interview. All right, here we go. Slipping the frag... <laughs> Slipping. Sipping. Sipping. Why do the eyes look like L's to me on here? Why? Sipping um, the fragrance. I can tell tea. you why. Shut you up. Told me to leave you Shut alone. up. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not getting older and I'm not blind. All right. Sipping the fragrant tea from a clay mug, Drusilla somberly tells you of what she witnessed of the murder. Oh, uh, give me one second. I highlight I'm it. not doing anything. <sighs> <laughs> Okay. That horrible sound it was that rung out through the streets. Time I looked out, all I seen was a shadow of a figure running off. Toward Heapside, methinks. Perhaps you have luck speaking to folks at the local alehouse. That ways. The blushing mermaid, is it? Okay. <laughs> she looks over at you with concern in her eyes. You take care, Tav. I knows I knows you're looking to move up in the ranks as it were. But the dark deed was done here today, and whoever done it was more than a mere thief looking to hawk an old talisman. With that, she hands you a corked bottle, explaining it is a potion of invisibility that may aid you during your investigation. Oh, streak of motion. Uh, a boisterous voice near the scene of the murder calls out THIEF as you peer outside the window a lanky hooded figure darts down an alley toward Canary Lane okay so what do we gather from that I'm not gonna lie it was really hard to like take in what you were saying to me <laughs> Because you were losing your mind because it was funny, or what? Just because I was like, just kind of like enthralled by the voice of it. Like, this, the, it was funny. Did I do good? Yeah, you did great. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, as a group, what, what do we think here? What do we think, guys? Like, let's, let's talk about this a little bit. Well, I mean, so she keeps her sister. And uh, granted, she's already been cremated, and it's it's kind of like a keepsake thing. It's a little weird, but I mean, everyone keeps their urns on like fire mantles or like that doesn't make I them a murderer. A moral. No, it doesn't make him a murderer. She's not, she's old, man, or she sounds old. I made her sound old. I don't. You know if made she's her sound old. old. I don't think she's that old. <laughs> she's an al she's an alchemist though. So I mean, you know, she's been drinking some potions. You know, her voice can be a little raspy. Um, that's what I thought about when I'm trying to do it. <clears throat> but like, it's kind of interesting because. Well, the thief thing that just happened at the end. She says that it wasn't a thief. Like, they they wouldn't have murdered the bard just to take a talisman. So, the Blushing Mermaid... I mean, going to the, the alehouse, obviously, you always get decent amounts of information. Information That's where a lot of information runs through, is the alehouse. So, I, I kind of want to go to to the Blushing Mermaid. But... I don't. We just heard a thief run down Canary Lane, though. Right, but I mean, what is okay? So per the map, per the map, the Blushing Mermaid's a long ways off. Okay. But who? The Harborside Hospital is a good ways off. The Admiral's Way is right there. Because we can go back to it. Yeah. 
You see, like it's this is where the dude was throwing up. Right. Uh, Canary Lane. A hooded figure darts away from the crime scene, having stolen stolen something. Do you follow? I kind of wonder if they were they were stealing the coin purse that was still on the elf. They probably snatched it before they got there. Yeah, before the yeah the flaming fist got there. Because the the particular murder doesn't seem like any kind of like thieve guild thing because I think it would have been a little more discreet. Yeah. Yeah, it's not guild related. It can't be. Oh, it could be a, guild sloppy, related, but not thieving. But it's a, style, it's a, not it's a sloppy yeah, it's a sloppy assassination if it was one, to be fair. I kinda wonder. I don't well, know. I mean, we could also go. We can also so we can go to the ale house to see if anyone's heard anything, or we could also go to the more to the mortician to examine the body. I'm leaning towards one of those two. Canary Lane, I'm not really interested in because the thief, like you said, probably just picked up the coin purse that was left there, uh, and it's just like <clears throat> leaving. Well, I, I don't think we should go to the the hospital because it's going to be there a minute <laughs> it's not going anywhere right away um, unless they want to get rid of the body yeah um, but I think our best lead right now is to still go for witnesses so I'm still feeling like the admiral's way this dude saw something is he still there after two days though I don't know. Someone's there. <laughs> Someone's there, and I'm sure he said something. If he's standing out there throwing up from what he saw, he's going to say something to somebody. You know? That's what I think. Yeah. I, and I, I, I feel yeah, no, like I, I feel like the um, blushing mermaid is a good ways off. Not that it wouldn't have information, but I feel like people are going to be tight-tongued if if we try to do something like that now without the proper information. But that's that's me. No, yeah, well then we can we can. I mean, we have eighteen hours. We don't have to vote right now. Yeah. But I mean, Admiral's Way sounds like a good one. It, Admiral's Way or the Mermaid. It is, is what I'm torn between. The The problem is, if we go to the Blushing Mermaid, we have not enough shit to, like, really investigate. But, to ask, like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. Like, hey, anyone hear about the bard getting murdered in the Sailor's Crossing? Like, yeah. you know, that, that was weird. Yeah, they're like, so going to talk to us about that then. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm going to vote Admiral Way. That's what I'm voting. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got to sign in. All right, where was I? Admiral's Way. Vote. Yes, I'm voting there. So we did get a potion from the, the person. But I, I, I seriously wonder if this is like them trying to, you know, get us to see the, the whole map. Oh, and here's the days. I just now realized this. This is the timeline across the bottom. Yep. How many is that? <laughs> it's like 30 some odd. They're trying to teach us the map of Baldur's Gate. 